defying social distancing and mask mandates. The community is very strongly for him. Dozens of supporters of controversial radio host and city council candidate Heshi Tischler gathered in the streets of Brooklyn to protest his arrest overnight. The cops, when they came to his house, right after the Jewish holiday finish, and they, uh, they threw him in cuffs and just uh, and booked him. Police were called in for crowd control outside the 6-6 precinct in Borough Park and outside the home of Jacob Kornblue. We came to make sure that if Heshi can't sleep, Jacob's not sleeping either. Kornblue, the journalist covering COVID lockdowns, was allegedly attacked last week during what police are calling a riot orchestrated by Tischler. Not that I did not commit this crime of violence and nobody was arrested that night. I will be, of course, pleading not guilty. Cornblue told us he was roughed up for reporting on the protests associated with the Brooklyn coronavirus lockdowns. Over 100 people were like trying to gang on me, uh, kicking me, uh, pinching me, uh, um, uh, some threw objects on the back of my head. Something some residents continued to defy even this morning. So we're opening up and if you have a problem with that, we'll see you in court. Well, police did not take any action on any of the protesters overnight, but Tischler is being charged with inciting a riot as well as unlawful imprisonment. He is scheduled to be arraigned on those charges as soon as this morning. Reporting live in downtown Brooklyn, I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, PIX11 News.